Hello, this is Damir for The Droid Effect and today I'm going to review a custom ROM called Cyanogen Mod 10.2. It's a nightly from the 20th of August. You can also see that up here. It's a 4.3 ROM and it is also actually the first ROM with my custom ROM review method 2.0 which I explained in my other videos. I will just quickly give you an overview how this new review style will go down. I will talk about good stuff the not so good stuff, a little bit about the performance, give it a small comparison to other ROMs in general and then give you a summary and talk about for who this ROM is intended to be. Okay, let's talk about the good stuff. At first I have to say the ROM is very stable. I didn't have any crash, any reboot or any sort of problem in general. It, w it went all fine. The second thing is the few features and things this ROM has actually work very well. I didn't run into any trouble or any sort of things. And the third thing is outstanding battery life. I had about a drain of 15% per hour which is way better than I had on 4.2.2 ROMs. But I also have to note this is my first 4.3 ROM I'm reviewing and I can't really say if all the other 4.3 ROMs don't have this better battery life also. That's a thing I will have to see in the next reviews. Okay now let's talk about the not so good stuff. The first thing is the lack of many useful features. This could also be a good thing for you, maybe not like, like you prefer it if you want to have many features or not, but this ROM doesn't really have many features. The second thing is the few things it has are also very limited, like for example the battery. Check the battery style. You get only five choices. Icon percentage, circle, circle with percentage and hidden, that's it. I've seen other ROMs that give you about 20 choices and why would I flash a custom ROM if I don't have the choice? Also the battery percentage is really ugly. But let's talk about the next thing. The Pi. It has a Pi version but this Pi version is pretty limited. You can't really customize it in any way. It's just like it is. That's a bit sad but I don't use the Pi anyway so that's not a problem for me. The next thing is the power menu. It only gives you the bare minimum. Let's check that. It gives you power off, reboot and expand it. That's it. Really poor, I think. The next thing is the, pa the power toggles. You only have the absolute minimum of, of the toggles. There could be a lot more, I think. And then there's the extremely limited navigation bar. Check that. It's quick. You only get five buttons. Search, back, home, reasons and menu. That's it. You can rearrange that. But you can't assign any more. Also very poor. But let's get to the next thing. I found a bug, not really a big one, but still I wanted to mention it. If you hit, if you go to the kill all button and have a very long list of recent apps, sometimes you hit it and maybe only four or five apps get actually killed and the rest stays there and you have to hit again. Like I said, it's no big issue, but I, w I wanted to mention it just for the sake of it. The, third f the fourth thing is the ugly starters when slow scrolling and when you release your finger. I will, I will talk about that in the performance section. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the performance. The performance in general is, I would say, about average. Nothing special. I've definitely seen a lot of ROMs way smoother and faster. I think it, it almost seems like it has 5 or 6, 7 frames less than any other ROM. It, it just doesn't feel really smooth. I've checked another 4.3 ROM which almost seems like 60 frames per second smooth but had a lot of stutters. But this doesn't lag really much, but therefore it's not so smooth. Also the touch responsiveness could be a little bit better. For, from time to time it just doesn't keep up with your finger. That's a bit weird and you especially see that when scrolling. It's, it's an issue, but it's okay. And there's also a small delay in the touch detection. But now let's talk about the big problem here. The starters I, I seen. If you scroll like that, you see it's usually smooth. But the moment you release your finger and scroll slowly, you will very often see a lot of small, st you can see that, a lot of small stutters. You see? And that is visible in all apps, in all the apps where you have scrolling. It's a weird thing. And I didn't notice that ever in any other ROM. That's a thing that can be maybe fixed with a different kernel. But since I'm reviewing all on stock, it's just like it is and the issue is there. 
Okay, now let's quickly compare it to Under Wraps in general. In general, it has less features and those features are also limited, way more limited. The performance is a little bit worse compared to really good ROMs, but that's only on the Nexus 7 I tested. I can't really say how it's on other devices and the Nexus 7 itself isn't a really potent device itself, so keep that in mind. The good thing though, compared to other, especially 4.2.2 ROMs, is the battery performance. I can sh quickly show you. I erased it, of course. I got 6 hours of on-screen time with a total of 11 hours that's a complete a full hour more than I usually get and that's a really outstanding battery life I would say pretty impressed here okay now to the conclusion of this custom ROM review the ROM itself is stable very minimalistic though and it's also very close to stock Android which average performance at best not even considering the ugly stutters. For people who like to have a slightly advanced stock Android, it's a good choice, I would say. And maybe for people who have a more exotic and not so well supported device that just doesn't have the big variety of custom ROMs to choose from, for those people I could recommend this ROM. But especially personally for me, it's not the right one. The performance isn't up on par with the best ones out there. The features, of course, not even close. I like really having those, all those small things. And this ROM doesn't deliver that. But otherwise, it's a very solid ROM with average performance. But it's also nightly and it can improve at least at the performance part. One thing I want to mention is the features. Feature-wise, the ROM is pretty much still on ice cream sandwich status. It seems the, the, the features itself seem very outdated. But that's Science Mod style. This was my first custom ROM review with the Method 2.0. Please let me know what you think of it if you prefer it this way or maybe the old style. If you have something to mention, please do that in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And if you didn't like it, it's okay if you also give me a thumbs down. I would really like to get some feedback to know where I'm standing. Okay, thank you so much for this. Like I said, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel.